Hey y'all, Sherry G. Welcome back to the channel. You know what? While you're at it, go ahead and hit the like button. So look, yesterday or last night, Arlene Curry and Martel, they went live. And it was really weird. I, I was doing something and I heard my notifications go off on my phone. Started to ignore it, but I went and looked. And lo and behold, it was Ariane going live. So I thought, well, let me just see what's happening. It's it's Halloween. Um, I don't know. Maybe she dressed up or something. I don't know what I expected. but Because we don't really get a ho whole lot from her. Um, but lo and behold, she was there. And I could hear Martel talking in the background. Finally, he came up on camera. That shocked me. And... Um, I don't know. My emotions were kind of like all over the place, y'all. So a part of me is was glad because I'm like, good. Now y'all can just go ahead and get on with your life after all these years. And after all this time, she finally gets to be seen with him on camera because we know that that hasn't been happening lately. And yeah, they've been drugged through these YouTube and internet streets for that reason, right? Um, you know, because she can show part of him or we would hear his voice, but we'd never seen them together in a long time. I think the last time we actually saw them together was when that alleged um, DV case, right, was happening between them. And they came to kind of like prove to us that there was nothing that happened. So again, I thought, okay, so this, this has to be some type of of publicity stunt or there's some ulterior motive while they're coming on um, screen together that was my second thought and I still feel that way I still feel that whenever Martel moves or whenever we see him there is a motive behind it what the motive is though I'm not exactly sure I do know though that allegedly he and Melody are going back to court and allegedly, she's the one taking him back to court and that they should be having that court appearance next week. So I don't know if it has anything to do with that. Um, but yeah, um, I, I do believe that there is an ulterior motive. Now, I know Martel needs a place to live, right? He, he needs a place to live because he had to get out of the house that he was squatting in, point blank and period. We know that Chris Fletcher was no longer the realtor selling that home. There was a new realtor, a new broker, and they weren't going to play with him. So the owners wanted that house sold and they wanted Martel up and out of there. So he couldn't drag his feet anymore. Time was of the essence. So he had to find a place quick, fast, and in a hurry. Um, so anyway, there were a lot of thoughts that went through my mind. Like I'm thinking the show's no longer filming Maybe this is some way for them to get together so that financially they would both be okay. Anyway, y'all, like I said, a lot of thoughts went through my mind. Um, and then it was just a part of me that was a little bit disgusted, especially when I heard Arion talking about, you know, the children. And the only reason was not, don't get me wrong. Um, I'm all for co-parenting and having peace and all of that. But the, the thing for me was just the way Ariana has been out in these internet streets, right? Um, the way she's been talking about the children and it hasn't been in a positive way and still downplaying their mom who keeps her name out of, who keeps Ariane's name out of her mouth. Um, so yeah, it just kind of unnerved me in a way. So I guess it just had me and my feelings and all over the place. So I didn't really stay on and, and look at the whole thing. I just looked at a part of it, grabbed a part of it, and that was it. Didn't even make any comments until today, actually. But one thing that I noticed is that that chandelier in the background, it caught my attention for whatever odd reason. I'm like looking at that chandelier 
And I noticed it and I said to myself, now I've seen that chandelier more than once. As a matter of fact, I went back to an old video that I did and I noticed that chandelier was in Martel and Melody's original, um, in their marital home. So we know that, you know, she had to leave the home and I assume that that chandelier as well as the dining room set came from that marital home because it was also in the house that he was squatting in. And now it's in the house that he and Ariana are in. So yeah, y'all, this is just a little joke on them or Martel, I guess. Wherever he lays his hat is his chandelier. So anyway, y'all, I just have a little clip so that y'all can see the traveling chandelier. But really, y'all, I, I really don't have much else to say about this couple. We'll see what happens. We'll see what plays out. Enjoy the little video. Until next time, y'all. Ciao. And again, don't forget to hit the like button. Talk to you soon. Okay, y'all, so there you have it. Martel and his traveling chandelier. So we'll see how long the chandelier hangs at this residence or where's its, where it, will its next destination be? Because I doubt very seriously it, if this is a permanent situation for Martel. Um, it could be, but I doubt it. But anyway, y'all, um, like I said, yeah, this situation just, uh, and seeing them together last night, it's just a lot of mixed emotions, you know, um, not that I know Melody personally or anything like that, but it's just the whole ordeal and everything that she's gone through and just the way Ariane has been and, and even Martel, we've seen him on this, you know, last scene talking a lot of crap, you know, and blaming Melody again. So yeah, it's just kind of kind of disgusting. I'm going to put it like that. And so, yeah, I was feeling a bit petty. So that's why I put this together <laughs> because I was being petty point blank and period. So anyway, y'all, that's all I have to say about these people. Um, look, if you haven't done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. I will be back until then. Ciao. Ha, how you like that?